Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am super excited to be bringing you all the 100 mil flipping guide because so many of you have been looking forward to it and I think it's going to help you make millions of gold. Now, in this guide, I'm going to show you the best strategy for how to flip 100 mil, the items that you should be flipping, how much money you can expect to make, and how to manage a flip that is going poorly or is losing you money. So be sure to drop a like if you enjoyed this one and let's get into it. Okay, before we get to the grand exchange, let's briefly talk strategy before we hop over there. Now, when you're flipping with a hundred mil, you're going to want to focus on consistency and turnover. Now, what I mean by this is you need to focus on items that have a stable and reliable price that you'll be able to sell within a 12 to 24 hour time frame. For this, I recommend focusing on medium to high volume items such as potions, food, and ammunition, as they tend to have a more stable and predictable price. These flips will also be a lot easier to exit when it comes time to sell, which makes a really big deal when you're trying to get your money back. What we'll end up doing is buying these items near their daily low prices and then selling them back near their daily high prices. And in between those times, we're going to maintain the trades every 4 to 8 hours. But we'll talk a little bit more about how to do that in this next section. All right, I am at the Grand Exchange on my alt account with 100 mil in my inventory. Now it is time to complete our first step of the cycle, which is to put in our buy listings. I'm going to take a look at an item list that I've made and do a little bit of research on GE Tracker and the RuneScape price wiki to see what items are going to look good to flip overnight. Once I figure that out, I'll go to those specific items and we'll talk a little bit more about how to flip them. But if you guys want access to a free flipping list, feel free to join us on Discord. I have a full public item list that is available for anyone to use, so you might find it handy. We are over on GE Tracker and I've identified the first item that we're going to list and that is the Green Dragon Leather. When I am analyzing an item to flip, there are two steps that I take. And the first one is to analyze the weekly trend on the item, and the second is to look at the daily low and high prices of the item. So the first step is to look at the weekly view. Now, I've got the weekly view pulled up on the green dragon leather. We just want to make sure there are no huge price abnormalities when we're looking at an item. So currently, I see the green dragon leather is downtrending a bit. It's down about 200 GP from its weekly high. That's not too concerning for me. I just want to confirm that there are no large price fluctuations recently, so we're buying the item for too high of a price. This though looks good right now. No huge spikes within the past four days or so, which makes me pretty confident that this will be a consistent flip for us. The next step is to look at the daily view of the item you're going to flip. Now I've got the daily view pulled up and you can see that over the past 24 hours, the green dragon leather has bought for prices of 1611 and sold for prices upwards of 1750 and more recently 1730 Now this is important because the low prices are going to show us where we can buy the item and the high prices are going to show us where we can potentially sell the item. So what I do is I look at the low prices that it is hitting on the daily view and I list around these prices in hopes that we can get in cheap and then sell for a higher price. So for the green dragon leather, I think we are going to list it for around 1,615 GP each and we will look to sell it for at least 1,705 GP each, which will net us a pretty penny. After tax, we are looking at about 60 GP profit per leather that we can flip, which is quite good. We are back at the Grand Exchange, and now all we're going to do is list the Green Dragon Leather. I think I'm going to list about 8,000 of them, and we'll try to get in in the next couple of hours and see how much money we can make on flipping the Green Dragon Leather. I'm going to repeat the same exact process across 8 different items that are all high volume, just to show you guys how powerful high volume flipping can be, and how consistent these flips are going to be for us in the next couple of hours. I've gone ahead and listed 7 other excellent high volume items that we are going to flip over the next 24 hours. Now when I am flipping these items, my goal is to optimally check them every 4-6 to six hours just to make sure that the prices on the items are still looking consistent and that the quantities are actually buying out on the grand exchange. Now if you need to wait a little bit longer or you can't log in every 4-6 to six hours, you can go upwards of 8 hours or even 12 hours and not really 
really see an effect in flipping consistency. But when it comes to that 12 hour mark, you do want to log back on and start to sell some of these items because if you wait any longer, your prices may start to get a little outdated and you won't complete some of the flips within the 24 hour period, which will actually hurt you from a profit standpoint. With that being said, I'll be on in the next six to eight hours to check these flips and update you guys on how it's going. We are back and it has been about 10 hours, which is a little bit longer than I would have liked to leave it, but we had two items buy out and that is the Mana Ray and the Stamina Potions. So once this happens, once we log in for our second time to check our offers, basically what we're looking to do is flip any offers that have completed and check the price movements on all the rest of the items that have not completed just to make sure that our listings are still accurate. If they are not, then we will readjust our listings to actually be able to buy and then wait a little bit longer and hope they do. So what I have done is adjust the Manta Rays and the Stamina Potions which are two flips that actually ended up completely buying and what I've done is sell them back for around or near their daily highs. This is actually going to net us about 200k on the Manta Rays in profit and about 200k on the Stamina Potions as well. The Green Dragon Leather is looking like a little bit smaller of a profit just because we only got 5,527 of them and the margin is a little bit smaller but these tend to be a little more consistent. Now what I'm going to do is check the daily price movements on the rest of these items and make slight adjustments if I think they are necessary. If not, I will leave them for a little bit longer to see if they will actually buy out and sign in in about 4-6 to six hours to check on them. We have readjusted all of our items, and instead of flipping the air orbs this time around, I'm going to try flipping the black dragon leather. The air orbs are trending really aggressively upwards, and I don't think it's going to be an easy flip for us to get in on, although it will likely be profitable if we do. What I've done is adjust all the prices on my flips. I've actually raised them just a little bit to try to get them to hit, and we're going to leave these for another 4-6 to six hours, and then look again and see if any of them have completed. Another thing I wanted to talk about really quick is you want to make sure that you're spreading your entire cash stack across eight separate items. What this does is it first lowers risk in case one item completely crashes and you lose money on it, then at least you have seven other items to potentially make you profit. Also, it's just a lot more consistent. If you flip eight items, then yes, of course, not all eight items are going to fill out overnight or during the time where you're logged off, but if four of them do, then that's half your items filling out and that is consistent profit coming in and that's what you're aiming for. And with a slight adjustment of prices, we are back in business. We had four additional items buy over the past three hours and 20 minutes. Actually logged on a bit sooner than I thought I would be able to, but we did actually end up selling the green dragon leather and that made us about a 180K profit, I believe. So pretty happy with that. Also, we're going to go back and list all these four items for sale since they did buy up. For the magic logs and the stamina potions and mana rays, we're actually going to leave these for another three hours or so. I think they need a little bit more time to ferment per se, but I, we are looking really good right now. I'm very happy. So we are back at the Grand Exchange and it's actually been a lot longer than I was hoping. It's been almost 10 hours and we haven't had as much movement as I was hoping, but I'm a about to go to bed so I'm going to readjust a lot of these offers. What I'm going to do is relist everything that hasn't sold yet for a little bit less to try to sell it overnight and also for the items I have sold I will list new items in their place. This will be our second day of flipping so let's get into it. And just because I thought you guys would be curious, we currently have made a million and 50k so far with the flips that we have bought and sold. Obviously, there is going to be more profit when we sell these items, although it will be a little bit less than we estimated. It's not going to be a big deal. Now, you should be able to make 1 mil to 1.5 mil a day using this strategy, but let's see if we can get a little bit luckier tonight. Now I want to point out a situation where the flip is not going as well as we have planned and I'm going to show you how I actually mitigate this risk. Currently I am flipping the sharks which you saw I had 10,000 of and we bought them for 900 GP each but they're currently buying for around 
870 GP each, which is really, really low. Now, in this situation, what I'm going to do is actually relist another quantity of them overnight tonight and try to buy even more of them to flip in the morning tomorrow. That way, we actually get in for a cheaper price and our average buy offer is a lot cheaper. Now, on the weekly view, these do kind of look like they're trending sideways. No significant pattern here, but since we saw a couple bounces off 883 and 884 price points, I do assume that we will be able to pick some up for around this price point and they will rebound over the next 12 hours or so. Now, this is a complete guess, but the trend is on our side, so I think it will actually pull off and we will be able to make some bank. The most important thing to do when a flip is not going your way is to first, don't freak out, but second, try to look for ways that you can actually make money from the situation. And also third, if you do have to sell for a slight loss, it's really not a big deal. Selling for a small loss is a lot better than holding an item for days on end, trying to sell it, and then even sometimes after that, selling for a loss in the end. You want to cut your losses early as long as you do not think you'll be able to make profit from the item. So I've gone back in and relisted all of our flips. Just really quick for the sharks, what I did was I canceled the offer and put it all into one sell offer. That way I could actually get it all in one slot and we could flip another item for more profit because the sharks ended up starting to buy like right as I was recording the clip. So I thought I might as well cycle it over. Also, we have some of the runite bolts buying. I'm very confident that we'll be able to flip those tomorrow. It's gonna be a smaller margin, but it's going to be consistent. I think it is very important to remember consistency is key when you're flipping these items. We didn't have a ton of luck first 24 hours we've been flipping these, but I think we'll have a little bit more luck this time around. I think we just got a little bit unlucky yesterday. Now I'm about to head to bed. We'll see what we're looking like tomorrow morning, and hopefully we'll have some great profit. And we are back. It has been 10 hours and 30 minutes since we have checked the flips. And we did have the stamina potions and the black dragon leather sell, which is great. Also, we had the oak planks and the runite bolts buy, which is good. I was hoping to see a little bit more movement though, but we're still going to be making some decent profit here. So I can't really complain too much. We also got half of the dragon arrows. Right now, I'm pretty happy with what we have, but I was hoping for a little bit better. It is hard to complain though because we are flipping with a hundred mil and we're still making pretty decent money so I'm not going to be too mad about it. Anyway, these are the final flips that we have set so we're going to leave these in the grand exchange and I'll come back in a couple of hours to check for the final time. Here are all the offers at the end of day two. Typically, when I go back and sell items, I don't monitor them as closely. I kind of just let them sell off and do their thing. But here's what we have so far. We have the green dragon leather and the monkfish that have not completely sold. So what I'm going to do is just lower them to a profitable point and sell them off quickly. Now, we could make more money if we left them longer, but I do not think it's worth it. I'd rather take the margin that is currently there and still make some profit and get that money Money back now. I readjusted the flips that have not yet sold and they actually ended up selling off the green dragon leather and the monkfish. So I'm going to calculate the profits right now and see how much we've made in total. I just collected all of the flips and I'm happy to report that on the second day of flipping, we made 2.1 mil with about 15 minutes of work. That's a pretty good result. And if you remember on day one, we actually ended up making a little bit over 1 mil. It was 1 mil and 50K. So on average, we made 1 million and 570,000 every day. Now this is only two days of data, but this is about what I've been averaging flipping with a 100 mil cash stack in RuneScape. I think we could have done a little bit better on day one, but also keep in mind that we did have some flips from day one that did bleed into day two. So the day two profit is a little bit higher because of that. Now, before I end this video, I want to do a quick recap of what to do when flipping with a 100 mil cash stack. First, make sure that you are flipping over a four to eight hour time frame and you are buying your items for the daily lows and selling them near the daily highs. You want to focus on medium to high volume items as you want to focus on consistency and making sure that your flips turn over at a decent rate. The faster you're going to be able to move things, the more profit you are going to make. And if you're accurate, you're going to be very consistent with your profits. And in flipping, consistency is very important. 
Now, let me know in the comments below if you guys have any questions on how to flip with a 100 mil cash stack. I'd really love to help you guys out. And if you forgot, we do have a Discord group dedicated to flipping and money making. So we'd highly encourage you to join that. Most members find it extremely helpful. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you all in the next one.